What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and we are going to be doing the general or soldier class guide for all you soldiers out there that don't know what to do or want to know what to do in the high end GVG sense end game for a soldier. So let's go ahead and get into the video now. Um, I have been talking to soldiers, toying with these soldier skills, and I came up with a build that I think is going to be very good in the end game and uh, will help you guys out a lot. The first thing I want to talk about is skills. The skills for the general or soldier, um, I'm actually going to recommend a DPS build for the soldier. There is no possible reason to have the tankiness right at this moment. It just doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about what you want to get. You want to get dual sword for your first skill. The second skill you want to get is divine smash. The third skill you want to get is uh, right here, Vanquish, and the fourth skill is either going to be Charisma, or you can switch it with um, with Cheer. Um, now, the reason I'm saying why you would switch Charisma with Cheer, well, it has because it has a 30 second cooldown. It costs actual uh, mana or cost to use it, and it. Um, it only gives basically a 10% nullify damage uh, for a 20 second buff um, for all this. So you can t you can debate between what you want to use, basically charisma or cheer. Cheer is going to give you more unison, and then this one is going to give you a 10% chance to nullify damage for 20 seconds. Remember it, so it's a you know a 10 second window where you're not having that on if you're uh, spamming charisma this whole time. Um, so it's a it's a trade off. Do you want to go a little bit uh, defensive, or do you want to go full offense uh, and use all your costs on damage? It really depends, and also, uh, you know, it's only a 10% chance, so I'm not 100% sure it's for sure worth it, but it does have a nullify, so nullifying damage is pretty OP. So, you know, it depends on what you guys think. If, um, if like, say, uh, you're the only person who has cheer on your on your squad, you're probably going to use this because, you know, only one cheer, it doesn't really matter. But if you have all have cheer, and then um, you can have cheer as well, then you can build it really faster. It really depends on what your guild is trying to achieve um, and, you know, um, and do. So, depends on what you want. Also, you can also sw swap out Vanquish for Heaven's Breath if you want to go even more tankier but still have enough damage to do uh, something during crystal phase or kill off archers. Um, the reason that you would take Heaven's Breath is one, if you have Avsaris, you can actually take off the buffs of an enemy team if you actually have Heaven's Breath and then you're the o say you're the only one with um, Unison, right? And you, uh, they all four or five Unison. Then if you already have Heaven's Breath up and you can survive the damage, you can actually use the Av Seraph to take off their buffs and they're not going to be able to one-shot your crystal unless they have incredibly high cost and like all archers, right? So, um, and I think that's going to change in, in uh, level 30 crystals, so you know, it's something to, to look out for. But for right now, I would recommend going full out DPS, Dual Sword, Divine Smash, Vanquish, then Charisma or Cheer. Now, there's also, uh, you can actually switch out Charisma or Cheer for uh, Aether Exchange as well if you want to go uh, incredibly high damage. Like you want to just pop your uh, Aether Exchange, then instantly just uh, face roll an Archer. Now the reason I'm, I'm saying Archer, Archer, Archer is because you have Anti-Archer, right? And uh, it's going to give you that extra, extra high damage to Archers. 100, uh, 240 ability power, straight up, guaranteed hit, is crazy. And especially having... Um, this 20 ab ability power on it, uh, it's going to give you actually 40 because it's two attacks, right? So that's going to be even crazier. It's going to about, do about 280 ability power at once to an archer. Um, this is going to one-shot an archer, especially if you uh, have uh, another person on him, like a lancer. Say if a lancer hits him first, the lancer is actually going to be able to hit him first because of the um, the uh, attack animation is, is quicker on the lancers. It's the quickest in the game. So if he hits him with a sting and he breaks it, then boom boom hit him with the uh, dual sword it's like crazy damage because both of you guys popped EE right two EEs hits him Lancer hits him he breaks him and boom boom dual strike the archer is just done so guaranteed done you can't heal through that really uh, unless you have a incredibly good healer and he spots it like spot on um, and something to actually uh, 
to actually combat that is equip bows. So so basically, you, you know, um, when you're a lancer, if you have a lance, you're going straight towards the target, right? If you have a bow, you just step forward and pop your ar arrow back. It's not going to show you where the, the target's being actually um, attacked. So if you have all bows on your melee characters, you're not actually showing them like, oh, I'm going to attack this target. The, a lot of healers will like just AoE in that direction. When they see you going into a direction, they'll be just AoE into the direction. Like good healers will do that. So um, that's the skills that I would actually recommend. Now let's go ahead and go back into the class and tell you what you want to go ahead and get uh, as far as... Um, the rings right you first you want to get your defense boost all all the way up because you're going to be down here anyways getting your dual sword right so you might as well uh get the defense boost up and then get your vanquish and i would suggest getting all of this because it's giving you attack and um increased attack right and that's why i i consider this like as a sign it's like if they didn't want you to be dps then why would they give you increased attack here and here uh and give you the archer thing and giving you a increased attack here it's like there's no reason why you would go full tank, not utilize all of this incredibly good 2% attacks all over the place here, right? There's just no possible way. Um, that's why in these trees, it's giving you all defense. And then when they the patch came, they're like, oh, you know what, guys? We're going to make the soldier a viable DPS class. And that's why I suggested it. Definitely go DPS, guys. Um, now, once you guys get this uh, shared trait, defense 7%, you want to go ahead and go back. Um... For some reason, it's making you go into Hunter and Priest, but once you're uh, done with, like, able to get that, don't go into Priest anymore, and honestly, I would suggest going straight into Lancer and getting all of the attack that uh, they get from here, all the way to this. Now, you can go either left or right, doesn't matter really where you go, as long as you get to here. Uh, you don't ha definitely don't want to get all of these, because you can get this uh, by just going to one side, then stop that. Uh, go ahead and get back and go back into the archer and then get this uh, the magic uh, boost right after that um, it doesn't really matter too much uh, what you go you can probably even go into cleric and get the you know debuff resistance if you wanted to but I would I would suggest probably just going into mage just for the boost in uh, magic attack for your uh, monsters um, now I don't know 100% um, when the notice came uh, to say, uh, let's see, uh, I think the, where was it, the event announcement, I think, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly which uh, announcement it was, I think it might have been um, the class, no it wasn't the class evaluation, but it said basically that you were um, unable to actually get bonuses from, um, from, oh here it is uh, da, 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 da. stat bonuses from class traits will no longer be factored into elemental battle figures now I don't know if that means that um, that it just it says class traits right so I don't know if that's actually shared traits or if that's just class trait um, which which actually there's a difference between that because if you actually go into the soldier and uh, oops you go into the general and you say like right here increases attack right that actually increases the attack of your monster right so if anybody if everybody went general and then they went into like alice's right and they had five alice's and then the other people had five alice's and they also had you know the end game lancer trait right here and they had all the attack from the lancer and they had the same amount of attack and magic than them but the other team was all generals right uh so they would actually have the attack boost that's coming from this like increase attacks three percent right so that was actually affecting the monsters i don't know if this which is a class trait is the only thing that's taken off or it's actually all the shared traits as well that was taken off so if you guys know that tell me in the description below but i believe it's just the cra the class traits i don't think they actually took the shared traits off of the um units and bonuses but definitely look into that tell me what you guys think and tell me what you guys know um so a little bit of a tangent there but um yeah let's go ahead and just really quick uh, go over what i was saying fully master the general fully master uh lancer all the way up to here you don't have to get you know left and right just go left and then get the uh archer after that you can either go major cleric doesn't matter too too much i would probably suggest uh mage though Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, get into the gearing. The, the very most important part of this build is having at least five 
physical testament um, on your swords. If you don't have any physical testament at all, this build isn't going to be the best for you. However, if you do have something like uh, DPS skills, um, then that would be good. Uh, I would still suggest getting the double um, the double attack because it does do a 240 and it does a high damage to, to uh, archers um, because it has that archer archer uh, bonus or whatever. Um, but it's not going to be as effective if you don't have the physical testament um, swords. Uh, you can always go three different types of attacks and then cheer as your uh, paladin because, um, or as your uh, general because it's still going to do a good amount of damage and you're going to have a high amount of defenses because um, of your class. So five uh, physical testament swords uh, to six physical testament swords, five to six depending on uh, how, how many you have. Six preferable, five is okay. Four, you could even go four, and then uh, some uh, heavy smashes or um, whatever kind of other swords you have. Um, but yeah, six six swords in total. Um, as far as the monsters go, I would suggest getting three to four monsters, depending on how tanky you actually have have it. Uh, if you have pluses on your armors already, um, but yeah, three to four monsters uh, suggested for the general. Uh, the monsters being Alice. Uh, your highest level UR fire monster be either the Kagatsuchi, the Fire Valk, or uh, Apollo that's coming out, or I mean, and uh, Avsaris. So those are the three elements I would suggest because those are our counter elements, elements that you can actually counter unisons uh, with, right? Uh, so so if somebody throws up a bunch of Alice's, you throw up a bunch of fires, or you're gonna kill them. So that's the reason I would suggest those three. The fourth being either another water monster depending on your defenses if you have enough defenses or a fire monster which is actually the uh, another Apollo or uh, say if you have an Apollo and then you have a fire Valk then you can actually use your fire Valk to, to buff if somebody doesn't have buffs or you can use your Apollo if uh, they have say they're throwing up um, all Apollo uh, say they're throwing up an Apollo um, or all of Ceres's or something like um, not all of Ceres's but uh, Alice's and then you want to put extra cost into that um, you know depending on what you want uh, so the reason I'm saying fire because you have the attack and the defense uh, you want as much as attack as you possibly can and the defense is getting boosted by all your soldier uh, traits right so that's why defense is a little bit better for him as well as the dual sword is using your defense remember so having a little bit more defense than magic defense is okay but you don't want to uh, you know have an incredibly vast amount of uh, defense and then have a little bit of magic attack because you're just going to get straight pawned by mages, super pwned. So um, leading with that, I want to tell you about the armors. Uh, armors basically are going to be the same for almost every class. Uh, what you want to do is get one constant of each type, one either constant magic uh, or one constant magic XL and then one constant physical XL. Uh, those are very important because as a soldier you're going to want that constant uh, damage down. It's going to help you a lot in your um, in your GVGs um, or RGBs or GBs, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, as far as the other armors go, you want to have a balance of procs. You don't have to necessarily have like a balance exactly how this is, but it's better to have it uh, than to not. However, you can have like 43k defense and like 39, that's fine. Like uh, f you know, 43, 39, it's almost there. You have maybe one more armor, um, but uh, that's fine. You, what the most important thing is ba uh, balancing your procs. That is incredibly important. Like so, say if you have like five physical procs and like two magic, that's gonna suck for you because if somebody hits you with magic, it's really a low chance that you're gonna proc these two. You're gonna proc like a lot of physicals, right? So you would want to have one of each constant and then three of each other constant so that's four right uh, that's eight in total um, so that's that would be good on that side you can also have like say nine in total but your ninth one uh, say if you have a balance already you're perfectly balanced you're like what else should I put I know have another I have another armor slot I want to put another armor slot in uh, but I wanna I don't know what I want to put in you want to go ahead and put in a uh, magical uh, armor because if you have another magical proc it's less chance that a uh, mage is going to one shot you now the mage that actually is going to one shot you will get you real good if you don't have those procs because they have 
this right here, the anti-soldier, remember? And if they just throw down, say, like a meteor rain and a meteor on top of you, and you don't have anything proccing, they're going to kill you because of the multiple attacks that they have. So two to five times, they hit you five times with 60 damage, and then they hit you another six times with this meteor strike. You're going to need, 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 need some procs on that, or else you're just for sure going to die. Um... So, I think that's uh, good. Um, you can always switch out a little bit less armors for uh, monsters, but I wouldn't suggest going less than 7, right? I wouldn't suggest le going less than 7 armors on this uh, build. Um, just because you want to utilize yourself being a general and uh, getting all those boosts from armors. Uh, it's just going to help your class out a lot better, going to make you super tanky, and it's going to make you do enough damage while being super tanky. That's what the beauty about this spec is. You're doing good damage, and you're super duper tanky, so you're not going to die easily. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it guys. Definitely go ahead and hit up the comments below. Tell me if I missed anything. Tell me what you thought about the video. If you liked the video, definitely hit me with a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you can hit me with a thumbs down. But definitely uh, tell me what you guys thought. Um, I can I can see other builds working with Soldier, but I, I don't see a uh, actual tank build helping out in this sense because you're, you're useless in a unison buff phase. You're useless in a crystal downing phase, and you don't want to be useless for any phase. You're even useless um, for like a swap in DPS if you're a tank, right? So there's just no possible way to be useful in a crystal downing phase as a full tank. Like, what are you going to do? Just spam your cheer the whole time? Like, a DPS can spam his cheer, DPS the uh, crystal, get, get um, unison for himself by damaging it. You're not doing anything. You you can't really do anything besides auto attack and cheer if you're just doing a uh, Chris, uh, you know, a, a tanky uh, paladin. In this meta, it's just not not uh, good at all, in my opinion. Um, you guys definitely tell me what you guys think uh, in the comments below uh, about tanky paladins, but I think they just are complete garbage for right now. All right, guys, um, definitely uh, tell me what's up. Um, and if you guys can subscribe, that would be great. If you guys want to download. Uh, if you guys want to donate, go ahead and hit the uh, description below. Um, I think that's about it for this one, guys. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and take it easy. Peace.